So earlier this week, I was talking to a good friend of mine, and he was explaining to me that the journey is the part that you really need to enjoy in your life, is the journey. And if you disrupt the journey, then you're basically disrupting God. So take this mountain for, sure, for, for an example, right? You take this mountain in the beginning, oh, you're excited. You're excited to see the mountain, you're excited to climb up. But somewhere in the middle, you start to get tired and you start to give up, right? You start to give up and you start walking real slow and you, you start breathing real hard, especially if you're fat like me. You start breathing really hard and then you be like, I don't think I can do this. I just can't do it. I'm going to give up. Let's turn back around. Let's just, let's just go another route. Let's take the easy route. Let's drive up there. You really can't drive on a mountain. But when you get to the top, you get to the tippy top of the mountain and you see the view. It's liberating. It's bliss. It's, it's, it's another level of life. You get to see life through basically God's eyes and how he sees us. You see, there's three rules to enjoying the journey. First, you got to know what you want. Secondly, know that there are going to be times when you're going to give up. There are going to be times when it's not going to look easy. There are going to be times when it's not going to feel like you even qualify for the job. But know that you are. And because you don't feel qualified, should tell you that this job is just for you and nobody else. Thirdly, once you get to the top, show somebody else. Look, we always mess up on this part. I don't know why me as human beings forget to do this. Because by Angelo said, when you learn, you teach. Thirdly, once you get to the top and you enjoy the view, <laughs> once you get to the top and you enjoy the view, bring somebody else with you. Let me say it again, because some of you lost it. Once you get to the top and you enjoy the view, bring somebody else with you. Now that, my friends, that is how you build a legacy.